Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK, coming to you today from the Chat Radio headquarters here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. First, I want to give a big shout out to Jim at Chat Radio for making the ID52 accessible to me so that I could get my hands on it and play with it without actually having to purchase this radio. I can't bring you videos like this without vendors like Chat Radio. So the whole idea today is I want to see, I've never owned an ICOM radio. So I want to sit down with this thing for the very first time and see how difficult is it or how intuitive is it to program in a repeater to this ID52. This is not a radio that I'm probably going to pick up. I'm a little bit HT poor at the moment, but I really am curious how ICOM does their HTs. Let's jump over to the bench and see what happens. Stick around and we'll get right to it. All right, so I do have the ID52 in my hands. I have taken a look. Let's see if I can show you guys this. I pulled up repeater book on my phone and I verified that this 145.39 repeater can be hit from inside the building. I did that by programming that into the D75 and I was able to key that repeater from inside the building. So that gives me a good base point to know what we need to do or th that we can hit it if I can program this radio uh, uh, correctly. So let's go ahead, let's see, that's going to be the volume dial right there. And guys, literally, I've never owned an ICOM radio, so you can uh, go ahead and laugh at me for not knowing how to figure this out, but... I do own quite a few HTs, so maybe I can get it. All right, so I need 145.390. Now, I know that I can just roll down through here to get to that correct frequency. Let's see, 390. We do have the direction that has been auto offset for us. That is awesome. Now, not exactly sure how to get a tone into this thing. That is one of the things with these newer radios is you don't get a lot of buttons on the front. The FT5 is very similar to this. So uh, it's a lot more menu driven uh, sometimes than what you want. But let's see, I see a RXCS right here. What happens if we press that? Uh, I get nothing. All right, um, I do have the offset, but I need to get the tone in there. So, uh, I'm looking at these, memory return, uh, do, 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 quick speech, squelch, main dual, uh, and I'm not seeing anything. Now, maybe I could scan for the tone if there were somebody um, on the repeater currently, but I think that's just a scan for frequencies. So let's go into the menu system and let's take a look at this. Maybe under the voice settings. Uh, nope, that's not going to be it. Now, how do I get back? All right, pressing the left takes us back. All right, let's see. Where else might we be? Memory. Nope, we don't want memory. Set is probably not going to be it. Uh, let's see. Tone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We might have something here. Repeater tone. We need 107. All right, so let's take... Oh, there we go. Let's go there. And then we need, uh, do we need to set it? Offset frequency, nope, we don't need that. Tone squelch, we uh, don't need, I don't believe. I believe this is just a tone going out. So now I just need to know how to turn that tone on. Uh, tone burst, maybe? Let's see. Can I go all the way back out and actually have this thing that quick and easy? How do I get back out of this? There we go. Uh, nope, I was not able to key that repeater. I do have some volume in that, so that's not it. All right, let's go back in and see what else we've got here. Uh, where was I just a second ago? Tone, uh, may not need that just yet. Uh, let's see, digital code, we don't need. All right, there's the repeater tone. <laughs> And I do not understand what I'm missing. All right, time to dig into the manual and figure this out. After spending an absurd amount of time looking for this, it is actually really, really simple once you know how ICOM lays things out. Remember, I've got the uh, repeater frequency programmed in. I've got the tone programmed in. You have to come all the way back out to the main screen. You can hit this quick button down in the bottom right corner. We'll go to tone and then I just need to tell it tone. 
Now we should be able to key that repeater up. And I get right into it. KM4 ACK testing. All right, so there it is. Uh, that took me a ridiculous amount of time to be able to turn that on. It's just one of those things. I've never owned an ICOM. I've never held this ID52 before, and I was completely unaware of that quick button. Again, guys, a huge shout out to Chat Radio for making this radio available so that I could play with it a little bit this morning. I'm off to spend a little bit of money in here. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then... Seven three.